Hey Eric here. Today I want to show you a devlog about my dialogue system. A couple of things to note. Uh, the sounds that you hear are called an auto gibberish profile. These can be just be switched with a uh, normal audio file really easily. But I just made several profiles so we can just have sounds really quickly uh, enabled. So let's first start with this one. This is like basic dialogue. It says a name, it shows a sentence. We can skip it. Uh, when the player is talking, the camera switches to the player. It also has an automatic continue to the other one. Uh, and this one is a custom sentence that we typed. You can also play audio files, animations, and things like that. Um, and the camera animation when we stop we, I, I just need to do something about it but I'm not sure yet uh, this is about random sentences so now it says let's mix things up the second one will be let's mix things up I've never I never know what to say next you won't get the on same answer every time and that's just from a random array which is really cool uh, choices and memory okay so this one is very cool uh, so I call this guy memoralis and the first thing what he will say is uh, uh, you may ask or continue your journey and now we have options to select however if we click one of these options when we ask something then it will mean that it will remember that we asked the question and when we continue back to this specific branch in the dialogue it will say anything else so like this that's it he says anything else well okay where am i anything else goodbye uh, currently i think i'm clearing the memory when i'm leaving uh, in this specific use case so now again it will say you may ask or continue your journey and like that it works now on to something very cool, and that is triggering events. Obviously like uh, level sequences and things like that. So uh, this is a guide and says, oh, let me show you this beautiful thing. Wow. And he also is able to speak the sentence uh, during the, uh, the cutscene, which I think is awesome. Um, conditional dialogues. This is also about memories. Um, so let's say, uh, here we have somebody and we can talk with Peter. And he says, hey, I've never seen you before. It's nice to meet you. Now we would be able to just add the memory directly into the character. However, for this example, I made sure that I have two different uh, paths so we can remove or add the memory. So now when I talk again, he will say again, I've never met you before. But let's say we trigger the event and we have met him before. Now he will say, hey, you again, so great to see you. And if we talk again, hey, you again, great to see you. But if we remove the memory of uh, having seen him before, then he will go back to that specific sentence again. And the important thing here is uh, both characters have a memory component. So in this case, the NPC and the player. So we can both determine, okay, who knows what and uh, uh, how to react on that, which is perfect for storytelling. Um, Timed dialogue choices. So this is awesome. Um, quick, uh, do you want me to take cover or stand your ground? So now you see this progress bar right here and we can select yes or no. I've, uh, you can select which option will it default back to. In this case, we'll choose the first one, yes. Or if we just select it uh, and we can branch the different outcomes. Obviously, we also have chance-based outcomes, which is really cool. Uh, for instance, like bribing a guard and things like that. So here we have this option. Um, uh, I will give you 50 coins. Uh, in this case, it has a 50% chance. Uh, so if I click on it, uh, it was successful. So now he says this, and then we can trigger an event like opening a gate or something like that. Um, and now this option and um, it's in our memory that we asked it already so we moved it this one is interesting especially if you have like a game where a guard says halt uh, or uh, arrest you or whatever so i want to force a dialogue upon a player so in this case when i come into his proximity 
I didn't click any button and he says, hey, what is your business right here? Oh no, uh, here do you have coins? Oh, in this case we failed. So, uh, uh, it is what it is. With this, you can make massive RPGs. It's insane. Uh, currently, uh, to uh, make this, uh, you need to edit it in the data table. It's actually quite easy. I could maybe in a later stage add a, like a visual uh, uh, a visual editor, but it's not really needed because it's actually quite easy to do so if you get a hang of it. Another thing is what I basically miss in all the marketplace assets is making sure that all the logic is complete. So in this case, what you need to have are world dialogues. That, that's what I call it. And world dialogues are things that you say while in being in the world the other one is more like a fixed dialogue or a focused dialogue but when you encounter uh, someone uh, in a village or whatever you want them to be able to say hey hello how are you doing or goodbye or whatever but also um, yeah, just basically fixed sentences um, and as you can see i made a, a subtitle system this is my own subtitle system I'm not using the one from a real due to replication issues, especially in randomization, things like that. So this overhauls basically the uh, whole voice, uh, voice based systems. Um, so now we have greetings, greetings, uh, and that's also a random one. Thank you. In this case, when we are nearing him, he says, hey, how can I help you? When I leave, okay, goodbye, safe uh, journeys. Uh, and when it's a multiplayer game, it also um, makes sure that this dialogue is spawned within a radius. Um, uh, so only the people that are in the radius of the one instigating that specific uh, uh, role dialogue, they receive um, uh, the subtitle and also the audio. Um, so this is more for um, a rebel. He says oh, he's more aggressive, as you can see. Oh, yeah. So this is a recorded audio. So we can also override it. So uh, 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 you don't have to use the auto gibberish profiles everywhere. And if you don't use auto gibberish profile anywhere, then you obviously just have recorded audio. However, you might always want to have a specific audio file. And if not, you, then you can just use the other one. And I think you should use things like that for also build interactions like uh, looting things. Uh, so uh, let's see what's in there or uh, 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 discovering an area, things like that. And this is more a custom sentence. We can override everything because a lot of it is our predefined dialogues so like uh, discovering something, greeting, thank you, uh, goodbye. Uh, and taunt things like that they're basically always the same um, and you just want to select taunt and you don't want to configure everything however sometimes you want to configure custom things so here you can type oh if i made a typo because the, the shooter be saying this is a custom sentence but obviously i made a typo and that's obviously what will happen when you make custom sentences but we can also do that with audio files. Ah, oh, yeah, nice. This. Arrogance. This. Arrogance. Small bug. This. I still need to fix that, but uh, you get the idea. Uh, it's currently already stopping uh, the audio file. Um, uh, but yeah, basically with this, you can make wall games like Hogwarts, Skyrim, uh, uh, whatever uh, RPG or open world game you have in mind. I love this. I enjoy this a lot. This actually has been more than a year of work. Uh, it has been insane. If you have feedback or questions, please let me know. And I hope you have a great day. Congrats, you have reached the end of this video. And of course, uh, always feel free to reach out. For instance, in the comments below, via Discord or mail. And don't forget to check out our website and Discord. I'm happy to talk to you there. Have a nice day. Bye.